now let's take a look at seaborn library within python and we will execute it on google colab now this library makes use of matplotlib and its own data set for visualization purpose right so first thing we will do is we will open the code block and then we will import seaborn as sns right we will also import matplotlib.pyplot and splt now these two things you need for your graphs and charts right so first we will start with our line plot so for line plot what we'll do is we will simply create one data set from sns load underscore data set right and here you will take iris data set which is pretty common among data analysis people so sns dot line plot right and here we will try to show x equals to simple length then y equals to simple length right and then we have to pass data equals to data right once these two things are done what we can do is plt dot title and within that we will type in seaborn plus matplotlib plus iris data right and finally plt dot show so if we run this hopefully it should execute without any errors okay as you can see we have our first line plot here that with the title that we passed along with the data set for simple length so this was line plot created in seaborn and matplotlib in google colab okay now that we have plotted the line plot next thing we can do is plot the power plot with that we first take the data set so let's say if i take sns load underscore data set and give it some data set like titanic data set and then we will use bar plot function so sns dot bar plot and it should take x equals to let's say class right then y is equal to fair class and fair and then finally we pass data is equal to tf right so pretty much simple data set and we finally use plt show so let's run this and here you see our bar plot right so you can change the data set and pass in different parameters for that specific data set like say iris and you can change x y and data and then display that as well so you get the idea how to use seaborn matplotlib and titanic data set for plotting bar plot okay so now let's take a look at box plot in seaborn and we can do this within our google collab notebook so first thing we are going to do is import seaborn then next thing we are going to do seaborn.set and then style set set for white grid right and then we are going to go for our data which is going to be fmri then seaborn dot load data set right and it should load fmri as our data set right and after that we are going to call for c1 dot box plot right and then pass our x some values which is time point based on that fmri data set then y for signal okay it helps if you know the data set well 
so based on that you can call the data set accordingly right then finally you can go and call your fmri variable right so this much is more than enough to run the code and draw our box plot so let's try and find out what went wrong could not find okay so there is a spell mistake that we need to take care of and run again and here you see our box plot drawn with the help of Seaborn and Google Collab Notebook. Now that we have taken box plot, next thing we will take a look at one more plot which is count plot. Now what we will do is we will basically let me just clear this. Now here let's do one thing in both Seaborn as SNS. Now we also need to import matplotlib dot plotting as plt. Right. Next thing, we are going to get a data frame from SNS load data sets. Right. So here, what we'll do is we'll call for tips data set. Right. And within that, we can now type in sns dot count plot right and it should take few variables so x being one of the then our data which is df right and then we will call for plt dot show right so if i run this okay so there was import matplotlib dot pyplot adds plt right so sorry for that error now let's run this and here you see we have our count plot here that shows the gender values within tips database okay so now that we have seen count plot let's go ahead with histogram so histogram takes your data set as well as kernel density so what we can do now is we will write from scratch right so first thing import c1 as sns then we have to also import pandas so pandas as pd then we also import numpy as np right so few things we have to do uh, considering we have to get some random seed so np dot random dot seed right so this is possible because of our numpy right now we need to get a num variable which should take np dot random dot random function that takes between the thousand right now further we have to also go for some series of data right so what we can do is we will further get the data right so that further data we need to get from our number one so for that what we will do is so pd dot series that should take num underscore var that we just created right and then we will also name this add something like numerical variable right okay so after that what we can do is we can pass our c bond for this particular histo plot so his his plot that should take num var one right so that's our data num underscore var one and then also kd which is kernel density set to true right so we have our 
two things properly set now that it's showing this issue that means I have to check whether it's uppercase true or not okay so this upper uppercase right now if I run this what should happen now few things that I have changed here as you can see is that I have corrected the uppercase series also instead of KDE it should be KDE so kernel density KDE and make sure that true is also has this capital T or uppercase T once you run that it should produce the histogram that looks like this now let's take a look at pair plot and to do that what we will do is we will do a few changes such as let's just import seaborn as is and also we have to call for import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so we are not importing plotting here instead we are simply calling for pyplot as plt now next thing we need some data within our data frame variable and here i'm going to call seaborn dot load underscore data set and then simply call for tips data right and here what we're going to do is we are going to call for seaborn and then call for pair plot right so within that we will pass our data set and one more thing is passing hue and within that we will specifically outline the gender right uh, make sure that it's dot and not comma otherwise it should throw error right now simply call for plt not show right now let's run this hopefully no errors and as you can see it has generated these one two three four five six eight nine within these pair plots right showing the gender data within tips data set so you get the idea how to create pair plot in seaborn and run it within google collab notebook now let's draw the kd plot in our google collab notebook with seaborn so i have imported seaborn as sns also imported matplotlib by plot as plt let's also import numpy as np right once we go through that we can create our x variable which is going to be let's say np dot random dot random number between 200 same we can repeat for y so np random dot random 200 right so after that what we have to do is we can draw the plot sns dot kde plot pass it x or you can also pass y so we'll start with x right so this is for x let's see if it shows value for y right it also shows for y and let's also add some shade so sns dot kde plot right and then pass in x shade set to true right and then color equals to let's say green right so what we'll do is we will just comment out the previous plot right and as you can see we got our kd plot so what is kd plot basically it is one of the kernel density estimate plots that are used for visualizing probability of continuous variables right so you get the idea how to draw them within your google collab notebook using seaborn numpy and matplotlib